Hi, my name is Stephen Paw, and uh, for all you Strobus out there, I thought I would uh, take a few minutes to uh, go over a few tips with you on using some flash remotes. Um, now, I currently am using um, what some people refer to as the poverty remote, uh, or the eBay remote, uh, or the cactus remote. It has a little button on the top of here, so not only can you use it on top of your hot shoe, uh, but you can also use this um, uh, in your hand as I'm about to show you. Um, now what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you how to use these in conjunction with um, a uh, few flashlights um, to do, um, and I also got another one here with a red gel um, that I have um, uh, put inside my, um, um, my light here and you can see it's kind of red. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt to recreate this photo that you're looking at right now um, that I did a few months ago, and, uh, and this is how I did it. I'm going to show you two different ways of doing it. I can show you, I'm going to show you one with a two light setup with two strobes. I have an Alien Bees um, B800 right over here through a large soft box. And I also have over um, to behind me on the right, I have a uh, backlight that is a um, SP Studio strobe with a orange gel on it. And um, so we're going to do two things. We're going to do the one like you just saw. We're going to do another one where um, I can also include myself in the shot. Um, the other thing I'm going to use is right behind me is a um, Canon 430EX with a Gary Fong light sphere on the top. And this is what I'm using to, um, to light up the background. Also, it has got, this is where, this is what my remote is attached to. I've got my remote on here. Um, and when this one goes off, then um, it sets the other uh, two strobes off, which are on optical slaves. So when one strobe fires, they all go off. So I am using one remote here. So I'm going to show you on the back of my camera here. You'll see that I'm at f11 at ISO 100, and my uh, shutter speed is on bulb. Well, what that means is that I can use um, this right here, which is a, uh, I'm, I'm using a remote um, shutter release for my camera that I can lock in place and leave the shutter open for as long as I want. All right, so I've pre-focused my camera, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, and uh, if, if you've got a jacket, um, you can take and uh, put the things in your pockets. If not, I just usually set them on the floor. Now, since we're going to be working in a completely dark room in just a second, um, then there'll be no light contamination, and I can take as long as I want to do this. So I can set the stuff on the floor, reach down, fiddle around with it, yada, yada. So, um, but, uh, but I'm just going to put them in my pocket because that's, that's easier for me to do here. All right, I'm going to turn the lights off here. All right, so we're in a completely dark room, right? But fear not, <laughs> we've got um, our night shot over here. Um, so you'll be able to see what I'm, uh, what I'm doing. So um, here we go. I'm going to step over to the camera. I'm going to take my remote. And I'm going to turn it on. Now it's completely dark. The shutter's open, but it's not picking up anything. So I'm aiming the, my light at the floor. Go to my pre-focus pre spot. I'm going to um, concentrate the light into one tight beam. I'm going to cover it with my hand. I'm going to reach up towards the center. And then I'm going to draw a little heart. Uncover it with my hand. OK, cover it back with my hand. I'm going to turn it off, put it back in my pocket. I'm going to reach over and grab my other light. And then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to draw a little uh, heart monitor squiggles. OK, turn it off, turn it back on, turn it off. OK, now I'm going to stand in place. And I've got my uh, flash remote in my hand. OK, now that I popped it, it goes back off. My shutter's still open. All right, let's see what it looked like. I'm going to turn my shutter off. Eh, that's, uh, that's pretty decent. Anyway, you get the point. You see where I'm going with this. Um, normally, I would just keep doing it until I get it right. So what would I, uh, so what would I do to get the, the shot that I showed you guys before? Basically, um, you would just turn the uh, turn your strobes off. I'm going to fire this one more time. There we go. Um, I'm going to turn the alien bees off. And now my, um, my uh, Canon 430EX, which is on the, uh, with the Gary Fong light sphere, is going to just do the, the background. So um, I'm going to turn the lights off again. All right. 
I'm setting off the strobe. Going back to my spots. All right, here we go. Little heart. All right, and then strobe. All right, let's see what that looked like. Oh yeah, that, that turned out pretty cool. So you can see um, it lit up the background, but not me. Um, I think actually my, uh, my other strobe still had a little bit of uh, life left in it. It went off anyway. Um, Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, be sure to check out the Stroba site uh, for more creative photos. And also, if you'd like to see some more of my uh, material, you can check it out at www.flickr.com slash photos slash Stephen Pond. So, enjoy.